Hey, can you imagine two days and three nights of a completely immersive kinky camp? Well, you don't have to imagine it because it is happening Labor Day weekend. It's called Fet Fest, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about the event, what you can expect, to give you some tips and tricks, a little survival guide, if you will, to let you know uh, what exactly is going to be going down. And if you stay tuned at the end of this video, I will provide you with a delicious 10% discount on your registration fee. My name is Molina, and I'm going to be talking to you for the next little bit about the amazing, amazing event that is Fet Fest. Ready? Let's go. One of the most amazing things about Fet Fest is that it is something that is completely up to you in terms of how you want to enjoy it. There are going to be classes. You'll be able to learn tips and techniques and get your freak on with world-class educators. People are going to be teaching all sorts of classes. There are going to be party nights. There are going to be meet and greets. There are going to be special performances and shows. There's going to be live music. There's going to be DJs. There's going to be amazing toys in the dungeon spaces. And it's on a massive campground, so pretty much... The sky is the limit when it comes to you making your play and your fun happen. Whether you're the sort of person who enjoys roughing it, like I just want to drag my sleeping bag into the wilderness and sleep under the stars, or if you're the sort of person who needs a really lovely hotel in which to stay, you can handle Fet Fest. Believe me. Believe me. We have all kinds of things available for you, from on-site camping to cabins where you can camp out and share and meet and greet and hang out with other kinky people, or if you need the princess treatment, we have a host hotel which will be available to put you up so you can shower, enjoy your indoor amenities, and then come up to the camp and join the rest of the perverts for the rest of the day. So, Melina, you're asking, what the hell all is going on up at Fest Fest? Well, let me tell you, we've got, uh, let's see, there's a Shibari bondage barn, and if you don't know the first thing about Shibari, don't worry, we've got people to teach your ass about all that, too. There is a sensual sex space called Fuckingham Palace, and I'm assuming you can probably figure out what goes on there. We have a clothing optional swimming pool and a lake with a fire pit, but do not get in the lake. I'm telling you right now, there's snapping turtles in there. I'm not fucking kidding, and I don't care how masochistic you are. You do not want a snapping turtle availing themselves of your tender bits. Trust the party gets started on Friday, and when you get to camp, you'll be registering, you'll be logging into your cabins. If you got a cabin, you'll be pitching your tents. <coughs> know what I mean? Know what I mean? Nudge, nudge, say no more. If you're a camping person and getting to know the camp, your fellow campers, there'll be a meet and greet, there'll be a party, there'll be food, and a lot of stuff to do that first night, and you'll be able to play right off the bat. All day on Saturday, there are classes. I mean classes on every sort of topic and kink you can think of, like uh, you can learn how to make rope. You can learn to tie people up with the rope that you just made. <laughs> you can learn about ancient tantric sex practices. You can learn about sex all along the gender and sexual spectrum. There will be classes on polyamory. There'll be classes on role-playing. There'll be classes on stripping. There'll be classes on how to seduce your partner. And classes on electrical play. And classes on fisting and classes on temporary piercing and let me tell you if there was something I just mentioned there that made you get a little tingly in your tingly bits or confused you or even scared you a little no worries we have amazing presenters who are more than happy to share their expertise with you and guide you through this amazing journey into alternative kinky sex in fact over the course of the weekend there are over three dozen classes so you'll have plenty to spur your imagination and spark your sexual fantasies and help you bring those fantasies into reality. You will get a lot of bang for your buck with Fet Fest. From everything from one day passes to full weekend passes, you can buy a la carte and save money that way. We encourage you to buy your tickets early and save money and to guarantee you'll get one because there's every chance this event will sell out and then you'll be kicking your own ass instead of having some hottie kicking it for you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to include a link down here below that will give you all the information on how to get your tickets, how to get your day passes, how to book your cabins, all that good stuff. And I know for some people you don't necessarily have a car. You're thinking, how the hell am I going to get to a cabin in the middle of the woods? We've got you covered, kids. Oh, yes.
Yes, we do. Check this out. Even if you don't have your own wheels, if you can fly into BWI, which is Baltimore Airport, if you can get the Amtrak there, if you can get the Mark train there, we have buses that will pick you up and take you right in to FetFest, my friend. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're not kidding. We're not fucking around here. So, you're up at FetFest in the beautiful rolling hills. Where are you going to stay? Where are you going to sleep? I'm a city girl, so I might be biased, but I highly recommend getting in on the cabin action, and I will tell you why. A cabin is a really great way to have a bed ready and secure for you, a warm place to sleep, and it means you don't have to pack in all of your own gear, which leaves more room for the important stuff like your hot fetish gear and your safer sex supplies and all the fun stuff you'll need to make your weekend that much more sexy and hot and exciting. For you folks who are camping and tenting, that's included with your basic ticket price. So if you just want to come in and pack in your own gear, that's great and that's awesome and that's fantastic and that's already included. Oh, and ooh, if you're one of those people who has an RV, you lucky, lucky dog, you can also bring in your RV. Remember, there are no hookups, but it's a couple of days, so you should be fine. And check it out. If you want to camp, but you don't want to haul your tent in, you can also rent a tent. Tent rental is, say that 10 times fast, tent rental, tent rental, tent rental. I'm not good. I could do it. But anyway, if you do want to rent a tent, you can do so for $19 a day, plus shipping and handling. Check out details on the website. URL located somewhere floating around down here. <laughs> and if you absolutely refuse to camp, but you still want to join the FetFest festivities, you can send an email to hotels at fetfest.com and get in on the host hotel action. So what are you going to eat? We have a meal plan. I strongly recommend you get that because A, it's already done for you. You show up, food is there, and you're done. It's really important to eat, and it's really easy when you're having such a great time at camp to forget to eat. This way, it's already prepared. It's already ready for you. If you're a vegetarian, don't worry. There are vegetarian options available at every meal. If you decide that you need to bring in your own food or you just prefer to do so, that's awesome. Just remember that there are limited environments in which to do your food cooking. We don't want any non-consensual fireplace. So please, if you're going to be barbecuing or roasting, or doing any of that open fire stuff, make sure to check in and do so in a designated area. And also remember, pack in what you pack out. Leave no trace. But perhaps you're not down with the food plan and you don't want to haul in your own stuff. We still got you covered, baby. There are food vendors on site and they're available to get you snacks and sandwiches and salads and all kinds of delicious noms for your tummy while you're up at camp. Oh, and make sure that if you're planning on buying food on site that you bring cash because you're going to need it because they don't take plastic. One of the most exciting things about FetFest is that we have what are known as villages within the camp. Now, a village is basically a concentrated area of specialized wind. And what this means is that people who have a deep and abiding, lustful, lascivious, delicious, and awesome passion for a particular aspect of kink will gather together and make this area of camp a place where you can really focus one particular subject or one particular type of play or one particular group. Like, for example, there's the rope camp. There's a TNG camp. TNG stands for the next generation, and that's focused on kinky folks who are 35 and under. We've got the queer and leather village. We've got the primal arts village. We've got the poly village. We've got the age play village. We've got the femme dom village and the sex village. And... Anything else you can imagine, you can put up. There's so much freedom and so much wonderful energy to be found at FetFest. We're all rebels and we all want to run wild and do our own thing, right? Well, in order to make FetFest awesome and safe as possible, we do have some rules. We have some general rules for the campground. And there are some specific rules that govern the dungeon spaces. I'm going to put a link right down. You perverts. I'm going to put a link down here somewhere. 
next to my boobs that will let you know how to find the rules for FetFest. It's really important to remember, especially as this is a camp where there are so many people expressing so many different types of sexuality, that it's important to take care of yourself. Taking care of yourself doesn't just mean making sure that you get your food intake and that you keep hydrated, and it does. But it also means that if you see something that bothers you, that you find disturbing or that you find upsetting, that you take care of yourself and make sure you remove yourself from that situation. If you do see something that looks like it's a serious problem or something going really off track, go ahead and find one of the dungeon monitors and let them know what's going on. They're wearing very sexy orange vests. And dungeon monitors are available on duty from 7 p.m. until 2 a.m. So there are folks around, and those are the prime hours for play. And a helpful hint from me to you, if you're going to be playing with someone new or someone you don't know super well, that's a really good time to get your funk on because there's someone else around. If something goes off base or if you feel a little bit uncertain, you'll have backup and support from our helpful dungeon monitor team. And that's a little bit of helpful advice too, not just if you're playing with someone new, but if you're doing a scene that might be super complicated, you might have an abduction and takedown fantasy that you're finally getting fulfilled, doing that sort of thing during a DM shift hours means that you'll also have some additional backup. So that's something else to consider. In addition to not jumping in and interfering with people's scenes because you find something disturbing or upsetting, it's also important to not jump into scenes because you think they're hot. People who are doing scenes together have negotiated those, and it's all about consent of involved partners. If you don't have explicit, spoken, verbal consent from the people you see playing, don't mess around. It's great to watch. It's not cool to jump in there and start grabbing ass. Got it? Good. I'm glad we've had this little talk. One of the things that's really important to a lot of folks involved in the kink and alternative communities is privacy. And I know you get excited and you want to talk about the fact that you're going to FetFest. Great. Tell the world you're going to FetFest. Sharing is great and telling your story is great. But some people aren't out. So it's really important that if you're talking about that really super hot scene you had, saying, I had a really super hot scene with a really wonderful person and we had a great time is cool. It's less cool to give details about that person's name, rank, serial number, and identifying information. So just keep it chill. In addition to privacy about the folks at the event, the location of the event is also kept private until you are registered to attend. And then after the deadline date, when the details will be sent out to you, it's important for us to keep that chill and also on the down low. Part of the reason we are able to have these amazing and wonderful events when we can really be ourselves is because they are private. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. What happens at FetFest can leak outside of FetFest, but just be discreet about it so that we can have this amazing event for many, many years to come. And speaking of talking about FetFest, which we do want you to do because we want you to let your friends know you're coming. We want you to bring your friends along with you. We want you to make new friends once you get here. And there are lots of different ways you can go about doing that. One of the first things you're going to want to do is log into FetLife.com. And I, I am assuming you have a FetLife profile, you perv. But, you know, I shouldn't assume because when one assumes, one makes an ass of you and me. And, well, I have a certain way I like my asses. <laughs> so what you really ought to do is log on to FetLife. If you don't have an account, it only takes a couple of minutes to put one up. It's F-E-T-L-I-F-E dot -E com. I'll put a link down here again for you. Put up a profile, and then you can go ahead and join the group on Fat Life called Fat Fast! Fat Fast! Oh yeah, Fat Fast! Yeah! Joining the Fat Fast group will give you a really great way to network with other people who are attending, make play dates, connect, post information about yourself, and get to know a few people before you even get to camp. I'll put a link for that down there too. Once you've gotten to the link that I'm listing below here, you'll see a bunch of other links. And one of the first things you want to do is go to FetLife and indicate on your profile that yes, you are going to FetFest. Because what that means is that someone will look at your profile and say, oh my God, you're going to FetFest. And they'll write to you and they'll say, you're going to FetFest? And you'll write back and they'll be like, yeah, I'm totally going to FetFest. And they'll be like, oh my God, you are so hot. I've always wanted to play with you. And you'll be like, really? You have? Because I'm going to be at FetFest. And they're like, you know what? I am going to FetFest too. Totally. We're totally going to play. Hey, don't laugh. It could totally 
happen. While you're poking around on FetLife, you can check out the profiles of other people who are going to be attending, drop them a note, say hi, introduce yourself, and start making new friends before you even hit the ground so you can hit the ground running. It's also awesome to arrange play dates before you even get there. Now keep in mind that once you're at camp, Anything can happen, but if you go in there with a setup and a couple people that you know you're looking forward to playing with, it can really make for an amazing and awesome weekend. It's really going to be important to once you're up there to take care of yourself. Make sure you get your meals in there. Make sure you have snacks with you. Stay hydrated. Carry a bottle of water around with you. Sip from it during the day. It can get really hot, and even if you're not actively running around and playing or sweating, you probably are losing water. So make sure you keep hydrated because we would hate to lose you to dehydration. Another thing we don't want to forget while we're up at camp are the little things, like taking a shower. Yes, I said it. You're going to get funky. Bathe, my friend. It'll make a huge difference. Brush your teeth wash your butt. Stay clean. It's a much friendlier way to meet people, believe you me, and it'll make a difference in that all-important first impression. One of the things we want to remember is the important three, two, one rule, okay? At least three times a day, eat some food. At least twice a day, brush your teeth. Get the breath fresh, my friend. And then at least once a day, bathe, take a shower, wash it up. Thank you. Another thing to keep in mind is to make sure that you bring any medications that you take even occasionally. Let's say you have asthma but you almost never have asthma attacks, bring the inhaler anyway. If you have any allergies, bring an EpiPen. Mind you, we will have five EMTs on duty so we are more than ready to take care of any emergency but we really want you to take care of yourself too. So bring your vitamins, bring your medication. We will certainly be providing safer sex supplies, but if you have any particular, particular special needs, we highly recommend that you bring those things along with you. We really want you to be able to take care of yourself and make sure that your weekend is as fantastic as it possibly can be. Did I mention to drink freaking water? Another really important thing that often gets overlooked when people are having a great time, sleep, sleep, sleep puppies and kittens, please get some sleep. It's important to rest. You're not going to enjoy the weekend if you're a zombie by the end of the first night. So as much as it might suck, crash out, get a good five hours of sleep at least per night while you're there and make sure that you get some rest during the day. And Be nice to your body when it comes to taking care of yourself and then that way you have more time to do the naughty things that you really want to do. Okay? Deal. Everyone who's working for FetFest is doing the very best that they can to make it awesome. But sometimes things might be less than awesome, in which case we do encourage you to provide us with feedback and let us know if there's something we can do. Now, there are really helpful ways to provide feedback. Letting someone at headquarters know, hey, I was in line at dinner and I didn't get any ice cream. I'm kind of bummed out. You might want to, you know, think about getting some more ice cream for dessert. And then there are less positive ways to provide feedback. You idiot! I waited in line for 17 hours and there was no ice cream, you bloated sack of protoplasm! <sighs> the folks who are volunteering are there to have a good time just like you. So, if you have something constructive to add, that's great. Try to keep it positive, and in that way, everyone has a more positive experience, including you. I would love to go on all day and all night, but I have to wrap it up. There is so much info on the FetFest website, so I'm going to put a link down here. I strongly suggest you check it out. If you have any questions that I haven't gotten to, tough. Psych! I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You can write to info at fetfest.com or you can dial 657-888-FEST, F-E-S-T, and one of our stalwart staff will get back to you as soon as possible. And so, here it comes, the moment you've all been waiting for. Me in my underwear! Okay.
say, I know that wasn't really the moment you were all waiting for. I know what you really want is the secret 10% off code, am I right? And so here it is. When you go to the following link and you register for FetFest, under code, put in YouTube, Y-O-U-T-U-B-E, for an extra 10% off. Wow. So sexy. Saving money, very sexy. Thank you all for listening. Thank you for watching. Enjoy FetFest. Go register right now. And I'm going to put another link here because you're seeing this badass t-shirt I'm wearing, or was wearing, but I'm wearing again, yeah. You want one of these? 20 bucks on the website. Floss it. It is badass, and you will look so cool. Bye, kids.